everyone. It's another Tuesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brand. As always, I have the ladies with me. Waike in the building. Jo, jo, jo. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I love the, I'm very well, thank you, Ike. Thank you, thank you. Love the purple on you. You and Tony are flying. We are flying. The, the same shape. The same flight. <laughs> ah, seriously. Hi, Dean, Waike. I'm fine. Ah, my partner's house, my partner in Agungi, they don't have lights. Hey, they don't have lights. I'm telling you, they brought, on Saturday, they brought it for 30 minutes. On Sunday, uh, no, 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 they didn't bring it on Sunday at all. I think 30 minutes, and then Monday, two hours, you know? And I'm wondering, they sent a, a, a text, uh, something, something, national grid or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we talked about it yesterday on the show. You know, all of us expressed the same thing, YK. Hmm? Yeah, that's receiving your test. Hey, we've got gotten the text since no, last week. Oh, yeah, we have light. We, Alagbole. Alagbole has light. Oh, Alagbole. At least for this one. <laughs> we, uh, my mind is horrible. Light, oh. Just terrible. This is a code school. Let's go back it, it, to how it, it used it, to be. Oh. It's, don't it's, destroy it's the, the It's the text I don't understand. You are just telling me there's a problem. You are not telling me when you are solving the problem. Mm. Why, if they don't send text, now you will complain. They don't send. They now send text, and I said, I will not tell you when. They say they are working on the thing. Something happens in national grid. Like, like, leave me at that level. Send <laughs> text, tell me when you are going to solve the problem. I will tell you when there's a problem. Anyway, let me we know that there's a problem because we don't have lights. <laughs> send me, tell me tomorrow when. Tomorrow is birthday. Meanwhile, yes. No, no. Yeah, tomorrow. It's yes, tomorrow, tomorrow is. Wednesday. Is what? Wednesday. No, it's Thea's birthday tomorrow. Oh, Thea's oh. birthday. Anyway, hey, do you know that fellow song? Trouble, Trouble sleep, and that go with. Why can't you leave this matter? Leave this matter. Why can't you leave this matter? Leave this matter. <laughs> leave this matter. <laughs> Moving on to Nima. How are you doing? <laughs> Why can't you start here? I'm it's fine. too early. How are you doing, Nima? I'm fine. I want to introduce my um, baby on Dockers Cancer Foundation. We have a child. His name okay. is Victory. And he is a four-year-old boy with abdominal lymphoma. That's a form of childhood cancer. He has great chances of survival. If we, and he's on, already on our pediatric <coughs> cancer assessment access program. Okay. We just need funding. Please, I'll be posting it on my page today. Okay. Kindly go and assist the foundation to continue to provide treatment for these children so that this one at least can survive, okay. we can guarantee. And we can follow through Victory's case right. and see him to... To perfect That's what well, I mean. Good. Just let, let us know. I mean, mm -hmm. we'd like to support you. I'll be, so post, I'll be posting them now regularly. Mm -hmm. I usually go silent on these things and walk behind the scenes, but I think I've not been doing enough mm -hmm. advocacy for the foundation. I realized recently and I've decided that I'll go public with each of them. Doesn't mean that I'm taking everybody's cancer case. This is the foundation I represent and work with mm -hmm. voluntarily. And Please, thank you for putting so, that caveat. Yes. Um, many people, there's, you know, we don't have a, a good health sector in Nigeria. Everybody is. Mm -hmm. If you if if you challenges away from begging and sourcing for funds through enemies. all of us are yes, God forbid, everybody even very so, wealthy family yes, you so, get to one kind of diagnosis that you're like you need hundred million naira you don't have you a know, choice you have to so I get a lot of requests for this and I'm happy that Nima explained that she's she's representing. Um, Dockers Cancer. Cancer Foundation, and that's why she's mentioning. Because when I say, Temu, you said that TVC does not mention these kind of things. Um, but I'm grateful to God. Yesterday was my son's birthday. We had fun, yes. and uh, we went to other pizza, and then we saw the pizza, and we're like, ah, Nigeria has <laughs> manifested <laughs> itself. Nigeria, Nigeria happens, happens to the pizza. To the, pizza. <laughs> the pizza we cook, the pepperoni we can count. The cheese we were searching. We had to use microscope to see the cheese on the pizza. I had to look at my husband and like, this was the pizza we used to eat last the 30 years ago. The thing I miss in America is that stretchy mozzarella the, cheese pizza. And oh, it, we have lost it in our own pizza in Nigeria. Our pizzas have meat, not no. cheese. It's <laughs> not meat. They have it if you ask for extra cheese. Why you, can't you I have extra now? cheese in the mall? I said, please, I'll pay for extra cheese. When I got it, just Parmesan of Isibe. It doesn't, it didn't stretch. Is it just Parmesan? Parmesan. Is it not the things I don't know? No, it's because it's a, it didn't put it was my birthday. It was your birthday celebration. It was just so and sad. It, the economy is telling on many businesses and they are caught, finding ways to cut. So they, there's something called it's the Grammy. It's not the economy, it's Dizu. At yeah. Dizu, no. Ah, YK, I went somewhere yesterday. No, hey. I went to an office, a proper office yesterday. The man was telling me, um, by 4 o'clock, we turn up the diesel. So let's finish. Let's wrap up. And I'm thinking, sharp, hey, sharp. They Everybody. are wrapping up. By 4 o'clock, we are going home. Yes. What? We are wrapping up. One of these bags, this orange one. He said they turn on the diesel. They turn on the diesel from 11. That when you come to work, you house. manage. 11 to 4. To 4. Everybody that goes. Time so it's regulated five <laughs> hours in a day. You can't come and kill them. Oh, yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, you. I say, 
Hey, I, I don't even want to go there. This, I said, what is spending me? That part we still bring beer. Yeah, that's another one. Good, good. At least for the okay. first shrine, we understand that one. Let's go on a break. It's Tuesday. Let us not start lamentation. It's too early for lamentation. No, it's wow. not, though. Nigeria. Okay. Nigeria is lamentation. Let's go on a break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you. Started. It's too early. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, we're going to start with the nation. Are you okay? <laughs> South South PDP governors demand presidential ticket. Picture here 23 killed houses burnt in Kaduna government's attacks. APC chair Adamu Amakura Mustafa Akume Mustafa for screening. Government cancels the COVID 19 PCR test. Court sacks 20 Cross River lawmakers for defection. Obiano's arrest, not political, says EFCC. And school shot in Imo over gunmen attack. Okay, which story are we taking? So, thanks, Muli. We are happy. Thanks, I think we have gotten behind COVID, past COVID now. Mm -mm. Uh, federal government has reviewed the <laughs> international travel protocol. And people who are fully vaccinated, starting from April 4, will no longer have to take those fraudulent tests that, you know, we, people pay for and never get well tested for mm. in our country. So that's good news. And I think the UK as well has reviewed their own. Yeah, um, if, you're if, you're vac if you're vaccinated, you don't need to do the mm -hmm. test or... Well, those who are unvaccinated will be required to take um, the PCR mm -hmm. test though. And um, I think 48 hours before departure or uh, two to or seven days test on arrival in the country. So mm. that, that's clear. But they didn't okay. specify as to... After you, if you've been fully vaccinated, when you come in, do you still have to take the day two or day seven test? So no, they, they need to specify that. They didn't. Okay. It wasn't okay. specified. So you know the drama that's happening with APC convention. Well, I'll pause that for a second. But South, the PDP two are having their own issues. So if you recall yesterday, we took the story where I think it was Atiku, Saraki, mm -hmm. and I think Tambo are came together saying that they are going to have a consensus cardinate probably possibly from the north. There's going to be one of them. But PDP here, of course, I think it was you, Nima, who said that we have not heard from Wiki, but they've responded, <laughs> saying that um, the zone is fully in support of the position of the Southern um, Governors Forum that, that, will be, that will produce the next president of Nigeria must come from the southern part of the country. And this, is for, this was yesterday. So obviously there's still this infraction going on between the party. They're not sure if it's, um, they're, they're trying to pick a, pick a, pick a consensus candidate. But the South South PDP governors are insisting that the presidential ticket must come from the South. While we have a few um, arrowheads who are yeah. saying, insisting that it could be either way, mm. that we shouldn't zone it totally to the South, that it could be North, it could be South, that there are other criteria that's going to be um, used to determine. Well, we'll see how the yeah, game is played I, I wanted out. to talk about the 20 sacked lawmakers. The court has sacked um, 20 of the um, Cross Rivers lawmakers because they say um, they, they defected from... Um, PDP to APC with the governor. So the court, I just want to read what he said. He said, um, a day must, the, just, Justice Taiwo, sorry, when he, in his ruling, he says, a day must come when elected officials must ask the people who voted for them before defecting to other political parties. Mm -hmm. And I like the, the trend that he's taking, that, or the, the judiciary is taking, because mm -hmm. um, lawmakers have to have integrity, yes. or politicians need to go and get integrity from somewhere, mm -hmm. buy it if they have to. <laughs> so there was a quote I wanted to take before I, I went up, because, you know, Wiki, Governor Wiki is somebody we like to hear, because when he talks like this, everyone's like, ah, what is, what is Governor Wiki saying? <laughs> anyway, he said that um, we have all said Nigerians are waiting for PDP to take over 2023. According to him, they cannot take over if they are not united. They cannot take over if they don't work together. So there was something he said that caught my attention. He said that, if we don't take over in 2023, Nigerians will never forgive PDP. We must take this opportunity and make Nigerians happy. So they are that they believe that they, they are, are the, the ones, solution. that they are the solution to Nigeria's problem. Well, we'll see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. Moving on quickly now to the point. APC chairmanship, Almakura, Adamu, Yari, others learned their fate as aspirant screening holds today. Use desert or your community as soldier drafted to maintain peace was killed. FG scraps PCR tests for fully vaccinated travelers on vaccinated teenagers. NAFDAQ warns against four male sexual enhancers, dangerous ingredients. Obiano water drinking video, EFCC sanctions official. 
an ex-governor gets bail. Subsidy FAC meets today as NNPC deductions threaten state allocations. Massive oil theft threatening external reserves and revenue. Okay, so let me just start with the major headline because we've all been talking about the issue of the APC convention that's supposed to hold on Saturday, March 26th. Today, Tuesday, is the date for the screening, so the party has asked that all parties who are interested should come today. I think it's going to be happening in, um, I'm not sure which is it, is it Tarabasi or some state, where they're going to all gather today at the governor's lodge, and they'll be screened in batches. So those who are running for chairmanship, uh, I think Diorizio is running for youth leadership. Mm -hmm. There are other various positions that are there. All screening will be happening today, and then I guess we'll know by the end of today who they plan to select. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but it's quite interesting to see that these things are playing out in the next few weeks. Okay. We'll to take the, the um, human interest story, the youth that desert the... Oh, know, yes. Yeah, the, the, um, there was a match between the Illusion United and another team, and um, somebody parked their bike on the field. So a fight ensued, and because um, the Okada refused to remove his bike. So they called in the soldiers, the peacekeeping force, to call, um, call to come and um, keep the peace. Um, but they were fighting. So the, the, according, there, was one, there are two stories. One was that the soldier shot in the air to keep them calm, and one youth fainted. So the, everybody just Talks started that. fighting. Hmm? And oh, then they, they must have thought that the soldier mm. killed the person. Mm. And the, what's his name? They, they killed the soldier. Oh, so the, because of, because in, for fear of reprisal, everybody has disappeared from that community. Another story is that they actually killed the youth and they fought and then killed the soldier. So, can we so stop this back, jungle justice? I don't know. We even need the police to take a really um, stern action against all these behaviors of the police, they are all, all their excesses. You know, without consequence and justice, these things yeah, don't end to happen. Mm, the the, 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 the um, mm. uh, Colonel uh, Oladipo says that a soldier was not killed, but an officer of the Operation Burst. So I guess Operation Burst is the... Not right. mm. So NAVDAC warns against four male sexual enhancers, and the, the NAVDAC has said that be, these drugs have been recalled by the uh, manufacturers of these brands abroad because... Amazon, the platform on, on which it was sold, carried out their laboratory analysis of the drug and found some um, chemicals or substance in those drugs are supposed to be meant for other use in the sex enhancers. I know Nigerians might be patronizing it. That's why I'm taking it. Yeah. They named the brands Megman, MacDaddy Red, MacDaddy Red Capsules, Red Pill and Rise Up Edition Capsules. If you are patronizing these drugs, NAVDAC says, please return them to any NAVDAC agency near you because they've been recalled and Nigerians should not use them because people with underlying health conditions who use these drugs stand a chance of extremely low blood pressure and other dangerous health illnesses that can come from these. Please give me their names again. <laughs> Why are you interested in this? No, I'm interested because the names are really funny. Megman. Megman. Big Daddy. Have you Mac Daddy Red. Mac Daddy, Mac Daddy, Daddy Red Capsules. Please, let's take it more serious. Why are you mad? 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 What is that last one? Almost. Why are you Please go and Google it after. Let's take a more serious story, Joe. What's going on? All through the meeting. The Monetary Policy the Committee is having a meeting. Monetary policy, yes. that's like the, the people they that they understand the economy. <laughs> and they are having a policy. Um, they, it's, the Monetary Policy Committee is a, is a part of um, the CBN. And in this policy, a lot of decisions were made. But this topic, this, um, this particular um, article focuses on massive oil theft and the fact that it, it threatens the external reserves because we are not making as much money as we can make because people are stealing. Mm. I took the story yesterday about two um, tankers caught off Bonny Island that were loaded full with crude oil that mm -hmm. were obviously illegal because they didn't have documentation to carry it. So we're stealing from ourselves, it's impacting our economy. And one of the solutions they came up with was the fact that we cannot wait for Dangote refinery to take off this year. It is impossible to, to improve to, the to supply steal. of petroleum products in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I still feel that's not the right solution, but we are all waiting. It's all of us to are waiting. Steal the amount of oil that is stolen in this country without government involvement. Uh -huh. Now then we'll cash Let's the people. We never even cash the people we bring for uh, idolatrated oil. Inside. Let's go on the break. When we come back, we'll continue with the review. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing the papers. Yes, moving on to Daily Sun. National Convention, APC Governors Mend Fences. Enugu Guba, Monarch Backs, Ikwere Madu. Obiano, EFCC Disciplines Officer, over leaked video. Court sacks 20 APC Cross Rivers lawmakers over defection. Khan urges self defense as bandits kill 13 in Zamfara and 24 in Kaduna. Wari summons Uzadima, Minister, Economic Advisor, over insecurity. An economy, 26% um, candidates obtained five credits, including maths, English, at the WAIC um, results. Okay, which story are we starting with? Let's talk about what Khan is advising. So the Kaduna State Chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria has called on the people of Kaduna State to defend themselves. This was because on Sunday there was this attack that happened in Agban, Kaguru Kaura local government area. 23 people were killed, several houses were burnt, and many people injured. So the, the comment is, many people are killed on the spot, many people are killed on a daily basis, that the people must be empowered to defend themselves. The destruction made by attackers, um, according to them, they are suspected to be Fulani um, militia that came in large numbers, would be would have been reduced if the people that were on ground had ammunition. That security agencies need to do more. Well, I think Khan is just reacting, and I can understand because I cannot even understand because I've not been in that kind of situation. But when everybody has arms, we are in anarchy. You know, the, we, we should actually mo we should do more by empowering the security officials. We should have more police officers, have more vigilante groups. But we cannot just give everybody ammunition and say defend yourself. So if they now use ammunition to do something wrong, what do we do? Mm. Our heart goes out to all those who died in the Kaduna attack. Uh, and really and e EFCC have nabbed the, EF, have nabbed the officer who leaked the video um, of ex-governor Obiano. According to the story, they, they have um, found, out, they found the officer who leaked that viral video, and um, they have not given us his name, but they, they, is, they said after a discreet investigation, they... Um, they found out who the errant officer, officer, and he's being uh, disciplinary action is being taken against him. In a related story, the Traditional Rulers Council um, and the Nigeria Renewal Movement, yes, they described the treatment of Obianu and FZ as despicable. According to them, um, they were disappointed that someone of Obianu's status was treated in such a distasteful, reprehensible manner at the EFCC, and how that video was leaked was really, really um, worrisome for them. And they're saying that, um, how can that kind of thing leak from a highly secured environment, saying that the sole aim of this was to embarrass the governor. And hopefully, and since EFCC has already responded, and we know that this person has been arrested, and disciplinary action, as you said, is being taken against him. Mm. Okay, moving on quickly now to the Nigerian Tribune Defection Court Sacks 20 Cross River Lawmakers. OAUVC, if the indigenous go petish, protest block major roads. Emo security crisis, what I told the president by Uzo Dimma. An Anambra rulers decry Obiano's ill treatment. Plane carrying 132 passengers crashes in China. APC convention protests over consensus candidate for national secretary. And a uh, picture here of, okay, I'm not sure what it is. Um, bandits killed 23, burned 70 houses in Two Kano local government areas. Okay. Okay, so the OAU. Um, Kaduna. Kaduna? No. Okay. OAU issued the indigenous stormed um, campus. According to the Tribune, the indigenous laid siege to the university entrances as at 7 a.m. on Monday morning. They destroyed campus security posts and chased away those men in the post and they took over the area. They also reportedly um, destroyed million. Um, um, Items worth millions of naira, and this trouble started over the appointment of the VC. 
uh, by the governing council of the school who pronounced Professor Bamire as the new VC of OAU, and they are vehemently against this on the premise that one of their own is qualified, their own kinsman is qualified for this position, and he has been working in the university and he was not considered for the position. Now, this university administration is a totally separate matter from issues that uh, the traditional, traditional school like this should be involved in. This is an abuse of traditional practice and, tradition, uh, and, and ways of life. Whether they carry, I saw them in white and all of that. They totally water down the African tradition and religion by using it for things like this. If the, the school admin chooses somebody and you want to uh, be again, you write proper to the channels. proper channel. You don't come and take over school because you're traditional. I saw this thing go, going to last week. It happened too many times. Abuse of traditional rights to the extent that people will now start running away from school, making it seem like these uh, practices are our ways of life as Africans. Mm. Please, they should bring respect back to that tradition and, and respect themselves. This is it. All of them, I, I, I wish they were all arrested and, and prosecuted. The okay. only should even address it. Yes, actually. you should address it. You okay, moving on quickly to Vanguard Resident Presidency. Rukos in APC over zoning to Southwest. Let's find a story we've not taken. Energy crisis, a mere failure to engage NNPC, power ministry, and others. 18 political parties to participate in Oshun governorship poll, says Rec. How we made Nigeria top 10 most improved world economies, says Lai Mohammed. 2022 UTME D registration, why there won't be extension, says Jam. Tension as unknown government threatened schools in Imo. And COVID-19 FG reviews international travel protocol. Okay, which stories? Is there any story we've not taken there? Okay. Yes, the yeah. youth, yeah, Jam. Okay. Oh, you want to go? No, go on. The jam just um, made their statement in that on the 26th is the last day for registration. So some people always assume that every time there will be extension, there won't be extension this time. If you want to get your jam form or direct entry form, ensure you do so between today and tomorrow. And there is no tomorrow is 26. There's no ex. No, is it tomorrow is 26. No, sorry, Saturday is 26. Saturday is 26. <laughs> on the 26th is the last day where you have the possibility to mm -hmm. register. So this, this, is due to, yeah. this is due to a tight schedule that they're working with a tight schedule and they cannot further extend the exams. So, Alajulai Mohamed was speaking yesterday at an event where he was saying that, if we recall, that the World Bank doing business index in the past, between 2007 to 2015, Nigeria lost 64 places in the World Bank um, ease of doing business. But he was happy to announce mm -hmm. to uh, the guests that... Um, the presidential implementation of over 150 enabling business environment council PBBEC reform was responsible for moving Nigeria up 39 places on the World Bank Doing Business Index in 2016. According to him, um, this is an unprecedented improvement, adding that the World Economic Forum um, in its 2018 Global Competitive Report recognized Nigeria uh, ease of doing business environment is one of the most entrepreneurial in the world and highlighted Nigeria's improved competitiveness in enabling businesses uh, to thrive. So that was interesting. I'm not disputing what the Minister yeah. of Information is saying, but the central bank-led monetary policy yesterday downgraded the growth of our economy in 2022 to 3.24%. Yeah, this was from a, their earlier Four forecast points. of 4.2%. Mm -hmm. And they're basing it on the IMF prediction of 2.7% economic growth as well. Just okay, want to so, the so let's balance it. Let's it. The president has summoned the minister over the erratic power supply. Oh, he did? Ah, yes, oh, so. fantastic. About he's time. aware. Yeah. Oh, About ah, time. nice. <laughs> Please, go ahead, Mike. I want to hear this story. <laughs> ah, he's aware that we are, I don't have oh. lights. This is, um, uh, the president's chief economic advisor was also summoned for the meeting on the state, on okay. the country's economy. And uh, this was given by the publicity secretary. Uh, the, the president's uh, Gaba Shewusha says that the president has summoned the minister and uh, doing salami for the economic problem and the power. Okay, the summoning, they, they don't have a solution yet. No, they haven't. No, they have no, just summoned the minister. So come and explain okay. why is there no NEPA? So today is what mm -hmm. Tuesday. We we'll wait for it tomorrow, mm -hmm. Thursday. To no, get I don't think we are, they will talk to him today because he's here. Uh, in Lagos. To open the oh, it's in Lagos. That's yes. true. Yes. Yes. That, that was going Where to is be my opening? banter. The 100 million airport. Airport. Which, which airport? The airport, airport that took them 13 years to build. Which airport? Why airport, airport Terminal. Airport Terminal. Oh, 
Oh, the read the. Uh, took them 13 years. It started in Jonathan's government. Now, when do you finish it? They have now they finished it. It. seven done years it. later. At least they've done Come. it. Is Open it with why no, no, Chinese no, no, loan? Chinese loan, no. Infrastructure loan. So, no, see, why you see spend money opening? That's exactly. That's it. No, so why who told you they spend money opening? Oh, of course. We would. They, they, they should they tell us. They did not spend money. They just want to owe. They should continue. tell us that they don't spend money opening it. And the economical impact of the fact that president is in Lagos. Number one, number two. We saw. We, we saw the um, in the uh, handover from um, Saludo. Saludo's one. There was no party. There was no ceremony. There was no There's budget. There's no party, for party here now. You people are just assuming. There was a the budget for this occasion. The president is coming to cut and go back. Finish. Morale, oh, okay, wow. Okay. Morale, let's we shall just see the that video there was tomorrow. No party. <laughs> but this morning. Police formation you took see, over all you know, the, you know what I like all the last mile. Mora, yes. we, we do like Kelly Fant. I want to defend this matter. <laughs> I want to believe this. Like she knows what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why <laughs> this, I don't believe so. Do you believe it? Is like... <laughs> fella was the, he didn't leave TV station for you. I mean, did he leave TV station for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to your TV station. Let's go to break. We'll stop trying to do TV station. Yeah, no <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So one of the most um, important challenges parents go through is how to help the kids have proper routine to increase optimal learning across all ages. Many parents struggle with ensuring that they have proper um, different activities for their children to have. How do we begin as parents to know what's best for our children, how to give them that optimal uh, learning outcomes for their age? Join us now is Anya. Omajua Oteri, an educationist whose niche is in foundational learning. She'll be discussing how important it is for parents and guardians to get education right at the foundational stage. Welcome to the show, madam. Thank you. It's good to have you. You can call us on 0812-705-3687, You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag yourviewTVC so we can read your tweet. So, every parent, when you have that first child, you want to do everything right. You know, you read all the books, you speak to all the counselors, all the friends, what do I do? What, what do I tell? How do I expose this child? Um, I like you in your own experience, how the parents begin to put together a routine to ensure children actually do learn and learn the right things at the right time. Yeah, so I think unconsciously we all have routines. It's just like when you wake up every day, after a while your body starts observing when you wake up. And even in our traditional settings, when a child is born, you know, when the mother or the mother-in-law is around, they come, they probably give the child a bath at the same time, routine is actually already starting. Mm -hmm. So you could continue like that. And um, as the children get older, ensure that the house is, the whole house is in tune with what you want to achieve, you know, and ensure that you have things planned. Let the day not just go randomly. Actually put things in place for children to um, know what comes next because it helps a lot with learning. For one, it helps with memory because you know what comes, what happens now, what's happening next, and yeah, it helps with cognitive development. It also helps with a lot of vocabulary as well. Mm. So putting a routine in place is actually one of the first things that young parents should do. Mm. So if you, so like, like I'm, I won't say I'm an old, I'm an old G in parenting, like, but I didn't maintain a proper routine till now, and I'm hearing you, and actually it makes a lot of sense, like it would save me a lot of stress mm. if I'd created this routine. How, how do we reintroduce routine into a child that yeah. you've left into doing whatever they want to do? Well, I think the best thing to do is to start by not changing anything really. Um, look out for the things you already do. For instance, we all wake up at a particular mm -hmm. time, we all have a bath, we all have bedtime, we all have uh, reading time. So you just try and restructure it. I always advise parents to start a bit easy, so it's not, um, it's not such a, a shock to the children. Right, right. So start with something easy like, um, okay, uh, what are we going to do the night before to make the morning successful? So perhaps we should pack our bags the night before, 
you know, and then get everything ready, wake up at a particular time. Don't have specific, um, don't be, schedules will have timings, but routines are just mm. the things you do to ensure that you get, or you're, you stay on schedule. So put a bath time in place, let everybody in the house know what we want to achieve. Right. Yes, and then you just um, sequence everything. And mm. So what are the ages and what are the um, age perfect routines that a child must have? Because I have a problem with my second child. I had to wake him up at four and bathe him. So now that he's growing, this child psychologist says he needs 11 hours of sleep so and we're having difficulty making it up. Yes. The boy is hyperactive. <laughs> he doesn't nap in the after afternoon. Yeah. To get to sleep at night is a problem. This morning he woke up even though I was trying to get him to sleep more. Yeah. So how, how do I gauge age-appropriate routines that can assist him? Okay, so for the, for a, a child, how old is your child? He's five now. Okay, so for a five, a perfect example for a five-year-old will be ens to ensure that you have an evening routine that tires him out. So he must be able to play and get really tired. A person who is tired will go to bed. Yes, yeah, so let the whole house be structured in such a way that you ensure that you have playtime. After playtime, get ready for supper, uh, have a bath, a uh, shower, and then let everything just transition from one point mm. to the other. It really helps with the planning. So if he's tired, he's sweated a, a lot, and then he goes to take a shower, and then he has a meal. And then there's one good thing that really helps the evening routine is a bedtime story. So children look forward to a bedtime story because a bedtime story is not just a routine. It's actually some emotional bonding, if you like, mm -hmm. because you cuddle with your parents. So if children know that they will always get a cuddle and some private time with mom or dad, then they look forward to it. And he knows that um, and going to bed is not such um, a bad thing. It actually means mm. staying with mommy for some time and being cuddled and that emotional bonding goes on. Mm. That's, um, I, I was just, this, I, I'm having this discussion with my daughter about my niece about the kind of books I can give her to read. And she's very, very mature. I don't know if you go that she's 13. Okay. Do you talk about 13 or just younger oh, children? Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm fascinated with young children, but I definitely talk about other children. So the good thing about books is that it's, um, it's important to... To, to, and to show children that you yourself read. So you mm. need to uh, model reading. So the mm. household needs to put away the phone sometimes mm. and actually do print media. Mm. So mm. Some, some of us are able to read when our, when our children go to bed, but yes. it's, you know, mm. that defeats the purpose. So mm. try oh, and read. read. That's when yeah. I read. Like, yeah. when they, I so went for husband, fun. children, everybody. grandma, everybody. <laughs> house is <laughs> him. Yeah. And then go to one corner and read. School. Because they won't allow you to read in that yes. house. But you have to model it. They need to see you reading. Mm. The noise? Yeah. Well, no, well you remember we're trying to achieve something here. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you, they must see you reading. And then children read things that interest them. Some people say, oh, this 13-year-old is not reading. But what really interests her? So mm. not every 13-year-old girl wants to be reading, um, you know, girly things. Some of them want to read some action figures. So you need to know the personality mm. of the child. Some mm -hmm. children don't even have... Um, um, enough uh, patients to read long novels. So they probably want to read journals, like Reader's Digest. They can take out one Reader's Digest and then read a couple of art articles mm. in it, and that's okay. So there's a pressure on parents because we all want this modern child that is exposed to technology, knows where to get things online. But at the same time, we're also very wary of them going to places we don't, we don't want them to go. How do we therefore manage the routine alongside social media <laughs> and internet access. No, you, I mean, you know, that's a seminar topic. <laughs> so, but it's important that we kind of... So the routines come in where you are allowed to use your phone and your computer for a given number of hours. So most of their homework these days are probably on their yeah. computers. Yes, yeah, so you do your homework. And then if you could help, if you could get somebody, even if you're not home, to ensure that he or she is doing this homework for just about an hour or two. Because otherwise, they actually go on and on on these computers. So this is where routines come in. So after homework, you are going to play basketball outside, or you are going to ride a bicycle, or you are going to water the flowers. So you, it's some sequencing involved. You can't be on the computer forever if you know that you're going to do a couple of things yeah. afterwards. Interesting. I'm happy you've brought up this computer because I am beginning to think that we shouldn't even let these children near, this, near the phones, near the iPads, because it's taking up all their, I mean, they are, I mean, we as adults are addicted to our we phones are, and our, we so who, what, the children, so I'm, 
because I'm guilty of buying iPads for my nieces and nephews. Yes. I'm guilty of giving my iPad to my grandson. Yes. And phones. So, I mean, last, last Christmas, I bought them pure water phone. They did not, they have not even opened <laughs> it. <laughs> Do you know. understand? And they are just looking at me, which kind of woman is this? You know, how am I going to not let them, the, the, <laughs> stop them from, because I don't believe in them anymore yes. for young kids. So we have to ensure that we're not using phones and um, all the gadgets for babysitting. Hmm. We need to ensure that we are planning uh, our activities such that we can create other activities. Mm. And the good thing about children is that they are actually quite easy to please, you know. Um, the other day, my son wanted me to go outside and play badminton. I was so tired. But when I discovered that he had been on his computer for two hours, mm. and the only way out was that badminton, I had to make, <laughs> I had to make oh, some wow. time. So we've got to ensure that we actually make make a deliberate effort to provide other activities. Trust mm. me, if they are outside, if they go outside, or if you... If these days, they don't even wash their socks. If you mm. wash your socks after school, that'll take you about 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah. Mm. And then if you're big enough and you actually... Wa okay, don't wash. Throw them in the washing machine at least. Do yeah, something. Are there some routines that we can take? Up? Because from what YK is saying now, I'm learning. When we had COVID, I had COVID, sorry. So I would not allow my children to play with the neighbor's children in yes. the, during daytime for fear that they'll spread it. So once everybody goes indoors, we come out. We're out till 11. And I played football with them. My yeah. son, I run around with them. And I see that when they go back, and everybody just goes to sleep yes. or tired. Yeah. But when I try to read to them, if he sees a character, you know, animated books, yeah. he will wake up again and start a story with the <laughs> character. And yeah. so we'll, we're there for hours. I'm reading and I'm tired. I sleep off and the child I'm trying to put to sleep is active. Yeah. So what routine? Do, do we really need to follow the books? Do I really need to read to this child, basically? Oh, I think you need to read to a child because there's so much that goes with reading. First of all, the child it helps the child with vocabulary, for one. You notice that children who are read to actually know how to express themselves quite well. Mm, yes, cool. so you must ensure that. But at bedtime, we can't be reading Captain Underpants because it's really, really active. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't be reading action <laughs> figures. Let's try and read things that will actually take people to sleep. Like, uh, there was a routine series I did, and I said, you actually have to be conscious about the lighting even. You need to start reducing the lighting, yeah. reducing mm -hmm. the volume of the TV. We are trying mm. to shut down here, right? So yeah. everything needs to start reducing. And then the child would gradually understand that, okay, bedtime. it's bedtime. You know, it's easier to put a person to sleep. If your person is in a bright light like this studio, <laughs> you know, yeah. he's not going to go to sleep. Wow. No. Let's go to a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still talking about children and routines. Um, before the break, I know we're talking about teenagers. How do you start routine when children are not used to having routines? But in the case of homework, TV time, lesson teacher time, you know, there's just so much of that. I mean, do you think we're overcrowding these kids with these back-to-back -back routines? Or it's just sometimes people feel overwhelmed that there's just so much this child is going through, all the subjects in school. How would you advise parents? to organize all these things. Well, uh, sorry, I, I love what Moriah just said about the homework, because it's very, I, I, I find that, they, I mean, they're in school, they don't get home till four, five, and then they have homework, they have lessons till like seven. What yeah. time do they have to themselves, the these four kids? So I think uh, the truth is, childhood is a preparation for adulthood. Childhood is a rehearsal for adulthood. So uh, we are busy, so our children will be busy. So we need to help them to re plan and sort out how they can go about achieving all that's in front of them. So that's where the routines come in. So if you come back from school, and if you check some of these homeworks, I know some homeworks are, are, are quite a lot, but if you check some of these homeworks, some of them don't take up to 10 minutes to do. 
mm. but the concentration. Yeah. So somebody has a, a 10 minute homework to do, but they stay on the computer, things pop up, they go to one site, they come back. So homework that could take 20 minutes ends up taking about one hour. And for them, that's one hour on the screen, which they like. So with a little more supervision, they could get the homework out of the way faster. Some days are more difficult because they're like a project and that would take mm. some time, that's different. But on a normal day, the homework is not as much as the children make it seem. <laughs> so with a little more supervision, you'll find out that you can actually finish yeah. fast. Right. And then if you, if you include other things like you know doing a few chores and then going outside, yeah, we only have so many waking hours. So routines will actually help you achieve what's on your plate. Most, like in some schools, when, uh, for older children, when they get to school, somebody is responsible for writing out the entire schedule at the side of the board. So you're watching and you know how much time you have and how much time you know, is allotted for a particular... What are some thing. chores we can give children in the house? Yeah, sweeping. Like some people will say, I no, that's an outdated. Yeah, some can... people say that's an outdated skill because mm -hmm. there are um, vacuum, vacuum, cleaners. vacuum cleaners. But there are some parts of the chair that the vacuum cleaner may never. Yeah, have yes, yes, so yes. I think it's still culturally. I think children should still uh, learn one of those things, and then they should. They can. They can fish, feed the dog. Uh, they can the leave dog. their beds. At least you can put off the security lights. Mm -hmm. Yes, and take then you can the fill, take, uh, take out the trash. I mean, depends on where your trash is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't want the children out of the gates yeah. because we don't know what will happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but you can th feel, do things like filling up the bottles of water. Yeah. If what about now we have seaweed. Of interest. Chores of Like I'm mm. still dealing with Mr. Ziburi Jr. Yes. He's never interested in any chores, and most of our arguments are on chores. He asked me once, "What's your own chore?" Uh, oh well, no. my own chore is to take you to school. I, told you, <laughs> I said I cook, I do other things yes. in the house. I had to defend this yes. one, yeah. but he's not interested in the bin. Is not too far from the. It's within the compound. Yes, take it. Take the trash from the house out, and he's complaining. So I'm looking at things that he will find pleasure doing, and yes. I can't find doing. Okay, so I think if you look a little more closely, you'll find the things he actually likes. Like, would he would he rather draw the curtains in the morning? Would he put off the light? That's not a chore. Yeah. Oh, well, no, that's it's a chore. Trash, it's, trash. It's, it's a chore. If you don't draw the curtains, then the curtains don't get yeah. drawn. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, to get the sunlight. Yes. Yes. Every morning, what open age? up the curtains. Yes. What age do you start them on chores? Because my grandson is three yeah. plus. Okay, so if you're three and you have, uh, and, you, and there's a baby in the house, you could have the responsibility of putting the diapers in the bag, but you still have to check so you don't get to mm. where you're going without <laughs> right. diapers. I get my yes. son to take a plate to the kitchen sometimes. Like, that's pack, a basic. Clean, clean yes. up after yourself, take yes. a plate to the kitchen, yes. you know, and stuff and like that. Also that's setting the tea table. <laughs> and then also setting the tea table. It, I mean, we don't it, do tea tables. Okay, like if you have, if you yeah, have, yes. if, if you do tea, <laughs> we do pop. Yeah. No, no. Okay. Well, who who brings the milk to the table? Yeah. yeah. Who brings the who brings right, the sugar right, to the right, table? Right. Mm -hmm. So, so my kids complain about it. fetching water. They're like, "Mommy, why do I have to fetch water for you all the time?" I said, "That's what you do for me. Yes. I do things for you. For you? you fetch water for me. When I sit down, you get me the water. You take the phone upstairs. You bring uh, other downstairs. I know. Kind of I think things, we I gave birth to them to send them. You know, you know what used to make me laugh when I was a kid, and my friend and I used to gossip. Your mother can be sitting on the bed and she'll say, Ah, Yenny, come, give me that thing over there. And you say, Why is she so lazy with the gospel? I'm okay. Why is she so lazy? She don't, she don't look at it. Yeah, I know. Send you know. Send somebody. Now, you know. Yeah, I did exactly the same thing. Let me bring that thing over there. I just remember your mom. getting so annoyed. Sending children on errands actually helps them. First of all, it helps with memory. Mm. And it helps with cognitive development. Mm. I remember one of, once my sister came to the house and said, you're not sending these children. They won't have sense. Oh. Mm. So you, you have to send children so that they can know, so that they can mm. follow through. Right. Sometimes mm. for very young children, one-step instructions. Mm. Go get my keys. And then as they grow older, get my keys, give to this person to get out this from the car. Right. So that's two, three-step instructions, right. Right. yeah, depending on the age. Fantastic. Let's uh, take this call, then we wrap up. Good morning. Are you there? We have a call from Aja. Good morning. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning, uh, beautiful people. The volume is low. I can't hear you um, properly. Go I've ahead. I've listened to what Madame is saying. Can't hear him. Um, for me, it's a, it's, it's a perfect um, uh, way of bringing up children. But this is Nigeria. I mean, that is ideal. Okay, so for, we have to wrap up on um, this. See, um, your average... Or you, well, the average Nigerian is not well, what you guys are painting. Because the production team is not I different. mean, it's, it's okay. I can't hear you.
Who likes okay, TV? Thank you very much. So that I mean, I mean, final your final words. What would what's your final advice to parents as we wrap up right now? Okay, my final advice would be: your children can be as uh, as organized as you are. So Ooh. be organized first. <laughs> you just that yeah, was a final. Yeah, like you just under a final slap. Under, <laughs> under the belt. Under the belt. Hey. Oh my God! Check yourself. Check before you wreck yourself. yourself. Check before you wreck yourself. <laughs> That's all we can take. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> Let's go on a break. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So World Oral Day is a day set aside by FDI World Dental Federation. The day is marked every 20th of March. The campaign is dedicated to raise global awareness on the issues around oral health and the importance of oral hygiene um, in our daily lives. Join us now to discuss more on this segment is Dr. Olufimilayo Adeni. She's a dentist I'm the founder and clinical director of Lux Dental Clinic Limited, Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to the show, madam. Thank you very much, ma'am. Ah, oh, the dentist. <laughs> we all hate the dentist. <laughs> Do because, you? Because, you know, um, let, let's start with how do we begin to remind Nigerians on the importance of dental care? How do you go for your routine checks? How often should we go for our routine checks? And when do we know it's time for a routine check? Because we just never do these things. We just yeah. let it be until we start feeling pain. That's when we start calling you. Yeah. So what's the proper routine for dental checks? Thank you. So it's recommended that you visit your dentist every six months. Every six months. So at least twice a year. <laughs> but with some people who produce more dirt, more calculus in their mouth, we might even ask for four months. Every pregnant woman should routinely see a dentist during the course of pregnancy mm -hmm. because of the pregnancy hormones um, affect your gums and your mouth adversely and so you need to ensure that you are in tip-top shape. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Well, I'll, I'll, I would like to start with kids because I know we'll come yeah. to girls because kids, you just oh my children, they are just yellow. <laughs> like, like, they, we, they are all yellow yeah. Every, and I try to, I brush their teeth for them but somehow, is, is that normal? Will they get white in future? What, what's the uh, plan? How do we fix this? Okay, I like to say your toothbrush is not enough, and so you have to invest in a visit to the dentist. The thing is, with children, their manual dexterity is not as, as, they don't have the prowess that we do, and so they need supervision a lot of times till they're about seven years of age. At the point where they have mixed dentition, primary and um, permanent teeth, you notice the primary teeth are whiter naturally than the permanent teeth, and then you need to just take them to a dentist. That's hmm. the, that's okay, so, the but you know this, I know that you're, because you're, this is what you do, mm. yeah. what Mariah is saying is my reality. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a dentist when I was um, growing up, growing up mm -hmm. and my, my teeth is pretty, you know, I'm, I'm really good. Mm -hmm. and it's not yellow, mm -hmm. you know, but my kids are yellow, and, mm -hmm. like, I, I wonder if it is, if, if the color of the teeth has to do with, genetics or because some people just have yellow teeth and then some have white teeth mm -hmm. so i'm like wondering is this something i'm doing wrong or it is something that is genetic or it is paste yeah the brush okay so there are many factors yes genetics play a role many times you see that people's teeth match their eye color and so oh. genetics play a role in how um how dark or how light your teeth are but um regular oral health practices can help brighten teeth but in the end um having healthy oral um, having a healthy mouth. It's not just about the color of your teeth. Yes. It's about how healthy your gums are. Do you bleed when you brush? Do you have mobile teeth? Do you have holes in your teeth? Mm. So those are the things that we should be um, we should be focusing on. Sorry, beyond did you the... say mobile teeth? Yes. What is mobile teeth again? Teeth that shake. Walking... <laughs> teeth that shake that are not yeah. firmly placed yeah. because there's something going on with the gums okay. and the connective tissue. I, I was there. afraid that the teeth would be walking out of <laughs> <Yeah. my mouth. laughs> It's grown. Yeah. So I have a perfect dentition amongst mm -hmm. my siblings. Mm -hmm. I've never bothered. Mm -hmm. And it's been white all my life. It's just getting brown mm -hmm. or yellow. 
but I have children, mm. and I've never seen these teeth before in my life. <laughs> they, my eldest child doesn't lose a teeth. Yeah. A tooth. She pushes yeah. one out. As the other is coming out. So you, you will never see a hole. Yeah. Oh, really? She's mm -hmm. lost one, but there's another one there right away. Mm -hmm. Then they... they it's scattered. Ah, God <laughs> of mercy. Now the second one, teeth <laughs> like this, change and... Different shapes. Worry. Okay, oh, so it fix itself. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it to fix itself. Because that's what family are saying that we'll leave it to leave it, don't touch it. But I think something should be done. Okay, so this is usually the mixed dentition phase. That's when the milk teeth are falling out and the permanent teeth are coming in. Some children have that. I growing up never had a hole. I never had a gap. I always had the permanent teeth growing right behind my primary teeth. But my mom is a pharmacist, so she would take me to the dentist to just say, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And I grew up in a teaching hospital, so it was easy to just walk into the yeah. dentist and say, what's happening here? And then there's a lot that can be nipped in the bud if they see a dentist at this stage. Right. Yes. And so don't just say, oh, everything is fine, because the diet you were exposed to is not the same diet your children are exposed so to. Really your children didn't take sugar to school every day. They didn't have this much exposure to carbonated drinks and, and um, refined sugars. And so we need to invest. We need to be very intentional about um, taking care of the, 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 our children's teeth and our mouths, because now we're, we're finding a lot of studies saying that all chronic diseases are linked to everything happening in our mouth. And so it starts there. And, um, mm. Yeah. So what's the safest way? Because now I've tried to floss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the gums were just bleeding. Mm. I, I floss easily, but when I do for my second child, it's, it's, I think the gums are just soft. Swollen. Or is it that, is it genetic, can somebody's gum be that soft genetically enough for a floss to tear them? Okay. How so, do I do um, We call that um, gingivitis. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the inflammation of the gums, the redness of the gums, which can be reversed by... A routine visit to a dentist. So a, a procedure we call scaling and polishing. Yeah, That's the truth. Your tooth brush is not enough. Mm. And, and, and with our lifestyle choices now, there's so much at stake that we can't afford to just say, oh, I'm brushing at home and I'm flossing at home. There's a lot that gets stuck in between your gums. There's a lot that wow. gets stuck underneath your gums, ah. between your teeth I'm and I'm carrying my fortune to yeah. oh, I <laughs> oh, Because I, my little boy had an accident. When he was a little baby, he fell on something. And one of his tooth chipped like all yeah. the way up mm. to the roots. Mm. So we went to the doctor, they got him something to cover it up. Okay. But it's gone off. And so he's back to normal now. I'm only praying that Father Lord Almighty, it that it when it's time for the, 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 it will affect the real permanent. <laughs> will it or would, should I just, because now he looks like he has a gap, but he mm. really doesn't have a gap. Mm. Okay, so um, in that case, usually we'll do a root treatment when there's trauma to the primary teeth. At that stage, wow. usually there should be a root treatment done to just clean out all the blood vessels and wow. nerves and create a um, pathway so that there's no infection mm. that affects the permanent tooth. Mm. But hopefully, mm. hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. My, my daughter <laughs> took her kids last year. Yeah. They were three and one, one plus to the dentist. The dentist said, oh, no more sweets, especially lollipops. Yeah. And we are all... Guilty. guilty of giving our kids lollipops. Yes. According to the dentist, the lollipop, because they just keep it in their mouth permanently, it decays the teeth. Mm -hmm. And then she has another routine. She brushes their m m teeth for, I think, three minutes. She sings yeah. six green bottles yeah. Yeah. till... And each one, the first one, the younger one, is just like uh, one and a half minutes. The older one is three minutes. I, you know, I have to do it myself for her. When is I'm it how long or how well, though? It's both. You need the time to do it well. And so there's... The, but she's doing great. She's doing excellently well. So you should do at least two minutes. Brushing oh, brushing. Teeth. Yes. Mm. You should do at what least What of a child that, you know, you can't brush some children? Oh, you can. Huh. Find <laughs> what works. Find what gets your children's attention. We so brush, my, my, my son don't. from three, like even three years, brushes himself and actually does a better job yeah, than older ones. Like yes. he does it really well. He'll brush his tongue, but he does not want mm. you to help him to brush it. Because he's, he's worried about the choking. Yeah, the so he, he's, he, he, yes, he, so he does it himself. And he actually really, really does well. Mm -hmm. But um, the supervision is the part that we need to work on. Yeah. Um, many Nigerians right now are watching us and wondering, oh, there's no Dizu, we are hungry. Why, why should I be bothered about my... See the dentist. See the dentist. Like, this, is not, this is not the most important thing for me. Mm. Yet I know it is very important. Hey, so can you highlight... I've extracted two from my... 
said it too. So when I smile now, it's 30 that is smiling. <laughs> and I'm worried that I would need to extract more. So I understand it's important, but someone watching probably wouldn't, would want to. In order of priority, how would you um, explain spending that money on dental care? Okay, um, I have some clients who are in their 60s and they had this less severe attitude to their mouth when they were younger. And so they would say, you have a whole lot. say, just take it out, just take it out. And now in their 60s, they barely have anything to chew with. Mm. And they're spending millions on implants mm. because now their faces are sinking in because really your teeth are the pillars that hold your face. Wow. So mm. you see some people looking really aged mm. because their teeth are yellow, because their spaces and there's nothing to hold up the cheeks. Mm. And so... Just invest in your oral health. I like to say we talk with our mouths, we eat with our mouths, mm. we kiss with our mouths, we do everything literally with we our mouths. Yes. With our <laughs> so, so um, there's just a pre and prevention is cheaper than mm -hmm. um, waiting till there's pain and there's uh, something to get rid of. Mm. So just invest in a routine this, check. This is brushing twice a day. Mm. Is it a real? It's like is it it's a real, real must? It's real. It's <laughs> like, real. It's real. It's just like having. Food pile up here all day. It's 8 a.m., you eat something, you throw it here. Um, by 9 a.m., there's something in, there's water, there's sugar and everything, and it begins to rot on the table. Mm. It's literally the same thing yeah. in there. So, and then you have a lot of microorganisms naturally in your mouth that are acting on everything that comes in. So yeah, you need to I, break the cycle. Yeah, I brush it. Except I'm on my period, I don't have this effect you talk about. Mm. Maybe because I have to rinse my mouth five times to pray. Yeah. And even more, three yeah, times so for you I hardly have leftovers in my mouth. Mm. So when I used to do the night brushing, it was just like fashion mm. for me, mm. really. So you don't do it again? I, do, I really don't have to. I don't oh. have anything in my mouth mm. at night. When I, I do it too. But when oh, wow. I'm on my period, the brush. And I'm and not um, having to do my ablutions. I have to do. You know, I, I think I shared that story before. My husband, I mean, since I've met him, morning, night, morning, night. So in the early days of our marriage, I just wanted to. This guy doesn't want to be. The guy is as if I'm begging him to kiss. I go, 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 go. It was later, it was about two or three years ago, I was like, Auntie, you don't brush at night. It's, like, it's difficult to be kissing you at <laughs> night. <laughs> so, I yeah. mean, so it's horrible. So, we, I said, you not tell me now that I'll be brushing. Is it because, you know? So, that brush, it took me a long time <laughs> to start brushing at night. But I'm happy that it's really important, as yeah. you've said. Yeah. Someone um, is asking on Twitter, say, brushing twice a day also, if you can use sparkle. How, what do you think? Yes, yeah, sparkle. I was, just, I was going to go there the, because be my father was an advocate for chewing stick mm. and there's this one the one with the pepper yeah mm. that is supposed to be the top of, top of the or something something mm. that, yeah. uh, so that, that's that one and then another thing that <laughs> happened to me as a child there are these i don't know whether they are quacks or whether they are real whether you will take them they will put something in your nose and then maggots will come out of Ew, your mouth. damn no, those ones that you used to put on your and, and put on they, your teeth no if you have put it in your nose there are some they put in your teeth too there are some yeah, i saw those ones in ones and How safe are all these things? So what are those? What is that? The, uh, <laughs> have you heard about so, it though? You yes, think we nearly have. turn your head? Yes, let let her explain to us what that is. Okay, so for um, the um, using back or chewing stick, we have proven um, we have proven methods, natural methods okay. of curing oral diseases in Africa, but we haven't explored yeah. intentionally. There's not oh, enough research to back yeah. up. Um, my mom is a pharmacist and she's done a lot of research in that. That's how I know that. And it is proven to be able to reduce um, the oral microbe um, that, that you have there. But we don't have enough proof. Yeah. How long do you brush it with? How, so that's why there's no scientific backing to it. So that's mm. why we always say, just stick with the toothpaste because we know how much... Or do both, if, mm. if you insist. Or do, do both, both, yeah. And the maggot part? The maggot part is just... People are out to make money. Mm. They use chemicals that react and coagulate mm. with your saliva and have that squirmy look. Oh. There is no warm anywhere hey. in your mouth. Why I say, see your the life? Time. There is see no warm. You see warm. your life? Is it <laughs> is that is that there is no warm. Oh People are just out to oh make money uh, and they use different uh, chemicals. This woman, they <laughs> made money off my dad. They will count each maggot. My father did the I've had clients that come into the clinic saying that they told me I had maggots and that you should do something else. But in the end, you need to see it then. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about um, um, braces. That, that guy, mm -hmm. I knew he was a phone one night. <laughs> yes, just let's, talk about braces. let's talk about braces mm -hmm. and um, the types of braces, why people should do braces. Mm -hmm. what I see adults do braces a lot nowadays and I have a client here, she wants to, she has, she's had a gap 
the AG. That, yeah, she's had it like forever. I feel it's so cute. But then she's going to be 50, and she said, guys know that I'm going to be 50 without this gap. Everybody knows me with this gap, but I'm going to be 50 without the gap, and she now has braces on. Um, where is, when does braces, when is braces essential? And when, can, when is it superficial or necessary? Okay, so um, people grow up with malocclusion. Say you have spaces between your teeth, that's, yeah. spaces between your teeth, or you have crowded teeth, teeth that overlap, mm. or you have teeth that bite way ahead of the lower one, and so you have this um, mm, look, yeah. or there's an underbite where your lower jaw goes ahead of the yeah. upper jaw. There are many malocclusions, and it affects speech, it affects um, chewing, it affects natural functions of the mouth, and so. Um, getting cures for, yeah, for the malocclusions <laughs> are very valid mm. because many many people have um, esteem issues from this. You mm. might not know. I met a teenager in the office one time, and his mom was just con concerned. He never mm. smiles. I don't know what is wrong with him since he became oh. a teenager. And I just had a few minutes with him, and he said he doesn't like his teeth. He doesn't like the oh. way his teeth are set up. Mm. His friends laugh at him in school, and a simple procedure using braces corrected all that. Oh, wow. It happens with women also. I, I had a lady who came in and her husband said, no, I like you like that. But she's like, I'm not confident. I feel like people, I, I'm so self-conscious. I feel like people are always looking at my mouth. And so I need to go for it. And then if you feel like you need to do something about the way your teeth are arranged, please go for it. Braces are effective and they're also aligners. Aligners are not as visible as braces. Mm. So it's just a nice um, transparent thing that you wear yeah, on the... I, I had a message correct. here from yes. somebody. It says that I did a root canal therapy on in 2009, mm -hmm. but didn't complete the process. She was supposed to crown it. I don't know what mm, that means. Yes. And I said, now the field hole broke out and while she was flossing. How does that... Can that person be helped? Uh, yes. Probably with an implant. That's why we always we literally beg hey. them, please hey. come in. Once you get a root, well, you know, root are so expensive. That's why people because run. you do not come in at the right time. Oh, if hmm. you come in every six months and all you're doing is a basic cleaning, at the I'm, most I'm in a year you are spending twenty something thousand, yeah. thirty thousand, no, and long term there's no hole that can progress so like much. That. In <laughs> what and see, you know, yes. I have four children. It's when you go, I times it and share them myself. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so with the is HMO. on Twitter, I have a question for the dentist. I have a natural gap tooth and it is too wide. Mm. Can I cover it up? Is it advisable? It's best to use braces and aligners because our teeth are arranged, there's a structure. So if you cover it, you're adding an extra tooth that is not there, you would look weird. Mm. There's, there's a beauty in the natural design of mm -hmm. our teeth. And so when you need to move teeth, you move them in sections. Like some people ask me, can I put braces on just one corner of my tooth? No, we can't. We treat your mouth as a whole. And so we moved them together. And so Let me take yeah. Hassan. Good morning, Hassan. Are you there? Uh, good, good morning. Good morning, everybody. live. Go ahead. Please, I have a question for the dentist. Yes. Please, what are the causes of this mouth odor? <laughs> and is that... Uh, um, being, uh, what they call it, being, uh, uh, being uh, an ulcer patient, it makes somebody's mouth to smell. Being an ulcer worse. patient. And what yes. are the remedies for it? Yeah, the ways, what causes mouth odor and if that's also does be... okay. So there are very many causes of mouth odor. There's the physiological cause where you just wake up and you have um, an off, your mouth is off or you're fasting. You're not taking as much water and food, and so that happens. Then there's the cause by um, holes, having holes in your mouth. There's a cavity. It's literally a cesspool of bacteria and decayed food, and so there's bound to be halitosis. If you have gum diseases also, you bleed when you brush. There's just that um, off smell because your, your blood should be in your blood vessels. It shouldn't be mixing with food and saliva. Then when there's some systemic diseases, say liver conditions, um, kidney conditions or just many systemic diseases that have something going on in there, it can affect your, your breath. And smoking, um, consumption of alcohol, all that affects your, 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 the smell that comes out of your mouth. And so what can you do about it? Visit a dentist. Ah, yeah, They've already seen everything we knew as a child. So when we're children, I would take like say, four. And you'll be asking them one per one. <laughs> they used to brush like this up, down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. up, down. And one dentist that wanted to make money of me said, See, your gums are, have been damaged up, down. They have to do like this. Yes, rotation. Yeah. 
And they'll come again with another one. They'll be like, tit, 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 like that. What is all this? They keep changing the rainbows. They keep changing the formula. Okay, the thing is, the two approved methods presently are the light circular movement. But the truth is, People just tend to be aggressive. And in the yeah, end, not... it goes back to being forward and backward or this. So the two approved methods are light circular movement or light flick, where you're taking your brush from the top of your gums. You're literally bringing out all the death that might be stuck between your gums and your teeth and flicking them out I mean, gently. So it's yeah. not like this. The, the, Up and you, down. You can, yeah, but there must morning. be a slight yeah, I want to leave move. Here. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah but time. you have to just just think about it. Like treat your teeth with love and attention. You don't have time. This Nigeria, you miss the bus. <laughs> so there are some people on YouTube that are asking about mouthwash. That is mouth can mouthwash be a substitute? Uh, like, okay. Me... Before I go there, I want to say um, the way you hold your toothbrush is also a factor. No firm hammer grip, just a light movement. Treating yeah. your teeth with tender care and affection because of that um in the end it causes cervical abrasion where you lose the edges of your teeth and your let me gums. take this call ayokole are you there thanks for calling oh, oh sorry, i'm so sorry I okole, for keeping so the second you. one somebody came. okay i'm not done with the mouthwash mouthwash okay. yes yes mm -hmm. mouthwash okay so um the truth is that dentists are not huge advocates for mouthwashes oh, really? because a lot of mouthwashes contain alcohol which dry out your mouth and in the end you're going back to square one you're doing more damage than good. Mm. And then um, if your mouthwash also um, is really, there's some really concentrated ones that just disturb the whole um, pH and the ecosystem in your mouth. And mm. so in the end, we say rinse with water. If you go for a mouthwash, make sure it is one recommended by your dentist. There are a few that do not contain alcohol. They contain fluoride. And they have, and they, yes, and they have the right pH for your mouth because there's a level of acidity that you don't want to get to because... But we think is that the more so acidic the, it yes. is, the better it because is. Because people feel like, oh, once it smells and, and it's... And it. and yes, you do. So I even had one gist, one fabu that, ah, if you use mouthwash, you won't catch Koro. <laughs> hey. Actually, some people said that, but there's no, there's no, there's no, there's not enough proof but it was it was it was it was actually conducted that a lot of mouth washing and um spitting out actually helped to reduce the you oral see? overload of Mikey, where do you get all this data from <laughs> 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 but it was it was There's widely one spread on, then on twitter that said that you know when we brush we shouldn't rinse out Mm. All our lives were rinsing mm. out yeah and I've been sort of doing so that if you brush they say night. you leave the fluoride to work You're kidding me yeah, yeah. So okay. you not live that you. So we advise that, that you yeah. spit, you do not rinse. Mm. So yes. spit, but don't rinse out with water, so that there's a little left to act on your teeth. Yep, I've been doing that. that. That's Please, why this you see, come there was a time that you people said fluoride sweetness in there. Some, them not, in but that's why you should go for one that is approved by a dental exactly. association. Exactly, all of them. No, no, not not all, not all. I, if I call this Some of them use, have xylitol, which is safe in your mouth, and it's not a sugar. Mm. The bacteria can act. So up, let me so. Be, let me get this clear. If I brush in the morning, mm. yeah. after I brush, I just spit out. I shouldn't rinse yes. out. Yes, just. I never spit. heard that before. I've, I've heard, heard it. Yes. I you do it. My daughter, my daughter so doesn't much. rinse out her children's mouth. So once the brush, brush is okay, she herself doesn't do it. But me, yeah, I've been. I've had some people spitting. I've been seeing. Even not only will you, you will gather. Yes, no. I've been seeing. 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 So you spit out, you rinse a little, you do it again, and then the last bit you just spit out. Ah. And leave it to act. Yeah. Ah. And you feel you'll see that what? your your breath smells slightly fresher when you ah. do it than when you rinse it. <laughs> I never like I never like the minty breath. I had that problem because mm. I because that, that was the problem I had with my husband because he was <laughs> minty. So at night I'm like, oh no, no. I, I used to only like it. I'm, me, I'm smelly. <laughs> He's minty. And we're both like, so kissing was not. You are not getting each other. <laughs> oh, different wavelengths. Please. Oh my I lord. I want to ask you about the um, mechanical toothbrushes. Mm. 
So I have friends that use it. And mm -hmm. I know that many people in the America, mm -hmm. they use it a lot. So, but we here tend to use the normal mm -hmm. yeah. brushes. So what would you, which, which would you say is better if you're trying to correct damages? Okay, so the automatic um, toothbrushes are suited to help you do it right. So it is doing the circular, circular motion for you. All you have to do is just hold it. And it, it doesn't apply as much force as when you're mm. scrubbing. And so it is safer. Oh, People, okay. Most dentists would advise that if you can get an automatic toothbrush, just do it. Get a, oh. an hourglass, a timer, and in two minutes, just make sure you are moving it. It's not like you just leave it in one corner. You're moving it around all the surfaces of your teeth. No, so. me, I use uh, this one that does zzz, and I still do. <laughs> Yeah, you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, yes, it shouldn't be too, you shouldn't be no, aggressive. It's not, it's not, so this it's world, not just the light and gentle. So, so this world oral day that a celebrity, what's the theme for this year? Is there a particular message mm -hmm. that they have this year for people? Yes, this year is um, be proud of your mouth for health. So okay. the point is your oral health is directly linked to everything that is happening in your body. And so invest in your oral health, invest in everything happening in your mouth so you can be healthier because you can't isolate your mouth and say, oh, I'm healthy, but my mouth is, yes, it doesn't work that way. Okay. So in, be proud of your mouth. Look into your mouth and be sure I don't have holes. I don't have gum disease. My breath is smelling good. And, and that's basically... So have, okay, go ahead. The last time I went for medical check, um, I had like four holes. And when they gave me the total calculation of filling it, I was like, I could only do two. Mm. <laughs> so and that was last year. So we, and I said, fill the two most mm -hmm. damaged ones yeah, okay. and let us keep the remaining two. Mm -hmm. Now that I got there, I like that I, I should, I'm already overdue for uh, checking. No, no, but when no. someone is facing that reality, what can you do when you know you have holes and your, your budget cannot accommodate filling yeah, it? What can you now do in between? Are there meals you avoid? What are the routines that so can help? Okay, so the truth is, in the end, once you have a hole, you have to fill it because it will keep progressing. There's no mm. hole that is static, that just stays there. It keeps growing. The mm. hole has um, living mm. microorganisms that are feeding it mm. with acid that break down your teeth for that. Wow. And the truth is, your, your teeth are one of the strongest structures on earth. Mm. So it takes a long time for holes to progress. That's why we always say visit a dentist every six months because we can nip it in the bud. Once it's in the enamel, that's the first layer. All you have to do is just slap on a tiny feeling. There's nothing big. Once it goes into the dentine, you begin to feel sensitivity and pain. That slap on Once is it money. Gets into yeah, money. The money. money. Oh, oh, oh. Once it gets into the pulp, we're talking about root canals, then, oh, you have to get a crown because the tooth is now weak. So the, the farther it progresses, the more expensive it becomes. And so, I have um, a call from the Tarkas. Nicole, good morning. Are you there? Everybody is visiting their dentist now. Good morning, Nicole. Are you there? Hello, Nicole. Okay, I think we lost that call. So we have plenty of tweets. Yes, but yes, the yes, last yes. myth hmm. is someone saying on Twitter now that don't brush your tongue. Don't scrape your tongue after brushing when you brush. Uh, you should, your tongue is too sensitive. That's something you up with. Oh no, that's, that's, you should brush your tongue because there's a lot of microorganisms that live there. There's a lot of food that gets mm -hmm. stuck in between your papillae and so you need to clean it out. A lot of bad breath actually originates from, from a dirty tongue. tongue. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, if, I know some people like to invest in tongue cleaners and then that's very valid so that you have something separate cleaning no, out you your to tongue. Use knife. Eh, no, 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 a knife. <laughs> Someone no. Us, oh, I, I think know. Bua is saying that you people should leave, you dentists should leave your comfort zone and spend time researching on the benefits of chewing sticks. What would you answer to him? Oh, there's a lot of work going on there. I had professors in my co in College of Medicine who already started work and there's a lot going on mm. actively. But who is funding the research? Mm. Because there's a lot of research going on, but there's no funding. Mm. Um, the it's Chinese slow, slow as the pace yes, also. The, the Chinese research and they back it up with money and they send it all over the world and we buy their the Chinese products mm. and so it's seen as bona fide. But we research and nothing nobody is funding it. Fund. Right. Nobody's funding it. So it just goes into the books. So you mm. only when you go into the, the field of academics before you see you are all how these much work has been done. Yes. The body of work there's has been so done. So much, there's so much. And another oh, person, Ajumu, sorry, Nima is saying, is it right to brush your teeth with bicarbonate soda? Yes. Oh no, not at all. Not at all. Ah, but they use that. I do what about that activated that you charcoal? No, it's not advisable. Because people sell charcoal. activated charcoal. Yes, food. people do. But who is endorsing it? The thing is, there's a lot of self-help, especially now with the advent uh, of the internet. But we have been internet. using ashes. So since when I was small, whenever we have mouth uh, something, <laughs> we used to go to the 
the sileport and take the ashes. And clean out well, it's, and not it's not standardized. It's not standardized. I had a case well, of, um, of a mother and a child who came into the clinic with this, oh, they got charcoal, and then all their gums were burnt out. Gums and the... They don't, know what, they, don't know what the they don't know what wood was burnt. They don't know what wood was burnt to become charcoal. So there's no standardization. There's no... There's nothing. There's nothing to guide it. You don't know what... If it was a poisoned wood, mm. you ate. If it is So my worry from what you said so far is that we have all this knowledge, just mm. like the charcoal, the maggot stuff. We have all this knowledge, but we're not documenting it properly. Because yeah. there's a lady... So can rely on it. There's a lady that... I mean, this is just the side... This lady was um, massaged my mom for many years, and she is phenomenal. My brother has been spending dollars, thousands and thousands of dollars in the U.S. When he came home and this woman massaged him, he was shocked. He said, Maria, I've gone to South Africa, I've been to Canada, different countries, and nobody has touched me the way this woman touched me. When I tell the woman, wait, set up something. Let us even fund this thing. Because you have to train more people. We said her mother trained her and her, gra her grandmother. They passed it down. She's already in her 60s. So we're wow. trying to get her to train more people. If I have money, I will support that woman because what she, she saw, knows, she, she knows, knows that work. She knows every single bone. She's so fantastic. So it's the same thing. We have all this knowledge yes. and there's nobody funding yes. it. And there's nobody documenting the body documenting of knowledge. The knowing that this is what, what a, this is what we do that leads to this. Yeah. And that's the difference between the foreign world and here. They document. Once you find something, you write a book. But who says that what you've written in your book is the fact? You just have a empirical formula, empirical facts yeah. to prove that this, this and yeah. this and this. And that's yeah. what we need to start doing in right. Africa. Okay, yeah. that's hard to mm. say. I had a teeth damage and I had a drug as a child. And I've done washing and it still remains light yellow. Whitening advisable. An advisable option. Mm -hmm. It is a viable option, but you need to see your dentist because if it is, say, tetracycline stain, whitening would not do much for you. Mm. You might be looking at veneers at crowns to get that. Oh, so, lemon water is it good for healing? Lemon water is highly acidic, and really? so it causes erosion in the long run, where it's wearing off, taking away all the enamel that covers your teeth. I like to say that um, lemon water is causing a lot of, is bringing a lot of clients to dentists because people are so sensitive in their teeth now; they can't smile. They feel that shocking sensation because of the amount of acidity. Yeah, there's one important um, text from Yemi Akio, which says, "How long do we use a toothbrush for?" And also, her two year old doesn't let no, her wash his mouth. Her, his mouth. She says, Can I take him to the dentist? It's getting, his teeth are getting yellow. Okay, so um, you use a toothbrush for three months, but if in that period you have, say, a cold or you come down with um, any illness, please change the toothbrush because in the period of being sick, everything in your mouth has recalibrated and you don't want to carry that on once you're feeling ah, better. Yet. So that. change your toothbrush every three months. Um, your children should start visiting the dentist once the teeth are erupting their mouth. Really. And teachers, you all come on this table. Come on, see your dentist. dentist. Your dentist. <laughs> okay, we have heard. Me, yeah, I'll definitely bring my children because I, I definitely, my dear, I, I just need the dentist. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've never Thank been you very to much. a dentist, so. Yeah, I think they need a one. They've never been to a dentist, your children? My kids still. Only, wow. only Elizabeth. The other ones haven't been to a dentist. Well, my daughter, she took her own children. She's doing she's really well. Abroad. She's doing no, really she's well. Abroad. Yes, NHS. now they don't have a problem. No, there's they no have, NHS they for dentists. Never. There is no NHS Mike, for dentists in, 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 Mike, in they, the They have they water. Uh, can you, they have you electricity. Have yeah, they have work on mobile. They can take their children to dentists. Here, there's a lot we of things. The generator is there. We are thinking of how we're going to complete it. In Cockport, I don't know. All right. Uh, Thank you very pops. much, madam, for joining. It was a pleasure having you on the show. Okay, that's all we can take. Take your kids to the dentist. Take yourself to the Many dentist. Many questions here on Twitter. So oh, really? On YouTube. Have a great okay. day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye.